Libra, this is going to be your bonus love read for, <clears throat> for right now, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I already did Cancer's bonus love read. I'm doing yours and I have Pisces to do. And the reason you guys earned a bonus read, sorry, my chair is so squeaky. Listen to that. It's just like squeaky. Anyways. So the reason you guys earned a bonus read is because you gave me the most views um, last month. Last month? This month? I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, I think it was this month um, you gave me the most views. Maybe it was August. Either way, who cares? This is your bonus love read. We're going to go in depth. I have 11. Let's see. Yes. One, two, three, four. I have 11 love decks, so let's jump right into this reading before it gets super duper long. Um, if something resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any readings that I do um, because YouTube requires you do that now in order to know when I upload. Um, let's see, what else? It's free to subscribe and also to like and share. All right, let's see. Let's dive right in. <coughs> Oh, I should have got a tarot deck. All right, yeah, I'm going to start out with my, um, what deck is this? Tarot of the Heart. Now, this tarot deck only has major arcana. If you hear any um, clicking, that's just my ceiling fan. It's hot in here, so... All right, what do we have for Libra? What does Libra need to know about their love life, please? <coughs> Sorry, guys, I was out today and the weather was really moist. Now my asthma is acting up, so. What do we have for Libra, please? What do we have for Libra? Oh, gosh, Cancer got this too, I think. So we have the hanged man. That means absolutely no movement right now in your love life. For some reason, there's a significant pause. I don't know why. <coughs> so let's keep going here. Oh, but look at after this pause. It was, it's funny, Libra. It's like, so <coughs> there's this period of like, Nothing really going on in your love life. And it's because you're taking this break in order to find this enlightenment in yourself. Right? That's what it feels like. And then right around that corner, we have something coming in that's bringing so much happiness into your life. Into your love life. It's going to be incredible. The sun is one of the happiest cards in the deck. It is. If you ask me, it is the happiest card of the deck. <clears throat> you know, it represents Leo energy. It represents the sun. The sun is what brings life and vitality. And that just goes to show you, like, the energy of, you know, the fire sign Leo, right? <laughs> we, bring, we bring love and light to the world like the sun does, right? I'm just saying that because I'm a, I'm a Leo, so I'm bragging on myself. <laughs> Um, in typical Leo fashion, right? Um, that was a joke, so don't come for me, all of you Leos. Um, anyways, so we have some, yeah, some happiness coming in. Um, I think I need to go get a tarot deck, though, because I do want to dive into, like, other things for you. So let me, I'll be back one second. Okay, so I went and got my Light Sears deck. Um... It's funny, like, I don't know. I don't really, you got the sun card. So, like, we know something really good is coming in in your love life. Like, this is a love reading. <clears throat> so, I don't even know what other cards we can pull that'll be better than that to clarify. But, we will pull three tarot cards for you. Libra, what do we have for Libra, please? Four of Cups. Well, you're definitely waiting for that something to happen. <laughs> we have the Four of Cups, the card of being like so bored. You're just like, 
<clears throat> waiting for something to happen in your love life, right? You're like, oh my God, fucking something happened. <laughs> I get you. I hear you. Mm. Same. Just kidding. My love life is always popping. <laughs> that was also a joke. All right. So, and we have six of swords. Wow. So Libra, you have done some massive healing. <clears throat> you have moved on from the things that were holding you. My, I don't, I don't know what's going on with my, my throat chakra again. Oh, it's so terrible. Um, since my asthma <coughs> was acting up today, my voice is just, uh, I don't know. It feels off. My voice feels off. Like it doesn't, I don't even sound like myself. It's, it's nuts. But anyways, so the six of swords shows me that you've done so much healing, Libra. You let so many things go in the past that you were holding on to. You're entering like this place of like peace and calm. You've discovered your inner peace. And that's why you feel so bored right now. You're just like, you know, you found your peace. And so, you know, sometimes if you're used to drama, it can feel boring, you know. But look, there's something coming in very quickly. Ace of Swords. This is some kind of illumination, some kind of truth. Um, it's usually like a love confession, right? It's, it's where somebody confesses their truth. It's the truth being revealed. It also represents, again, illumination. So whatever it is that you were holding on to so tightly in the past, when you let it go, ironically, that's what loosened everything up for all of the good things to come in. <clears throat> Look, in the bottom of the deck, it's the wheel. There's another card of like one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's fate and destiny. It's closing out those cycles, right? Look, it's that energy of no longer being trapped in your head, right? I just slowly started going through the deck. So it's closing on a major cycle and coming into a cycle of luck. It's having power over your mind. You're no longer trapped in your thoughts because you're in the Six of Swords energy, which is the energy of letting go of those limiting beliefs, right? <clears throat> Okay, so what should we do now? Let's do the love oracle, okay? <coughs> Oof, this reading's going to be tough with all this asthma going on. I'm here for it. Let's do it. What do we have for Libra? Two cards, please. Libra? Oh, I'm not sure which one to take. Let's do this one. All right, so we have finances. And home. Wow. Okay, so for some of you... Um, This feels very much like your person is thinking of buying a home for both of you. I don't know if you know this, but I feel like they've thought about living with you. If <clears throat> they've never mentioned it to you, it's definitely crossed their mind. Okay, the person that's on your mind right now, they have thought of buying a home with you, having a home with you. We also have finances. So they could be saving for a home. Or maybe you're saving for a home. Maybe you're like, you know, fuck it. I'm going to build my own empire, right? Maybe you're saving for your own home. I don't know. But somebody is in the process of buying a home. Whether that's you or your person, I don't know. <clears throat> you have to remember, if your guys' energy is so closely linked, especially if they're heavy on your mind or they're your, 
you know, whatever, twin flame, soulmate, it, it doesn't matter. The person that you're thinking of, right? Your guys' energy will be so intertwined, especially if it's, if it's a, excuse me, spiritual union, um, you know, your, your guys' energy will be hard to tell apart. So it's number 83 on, on the top of the home. So I don't know if that's going to mean something to someone. <clears throat> but 8 is the number of eternity. 3 is the number of um, the trinity and also of the ascended masters. <coughs> Alright, let's do the Minara deck for you. So I'm going to try to... Just keep this reading moving along because the last reading was like 45 minutes. And I mean, it doesn't surprise me because, like I said, I have 11 decks to go through. These are all of my love decks. So it is a really in-depth reading. It just takes a really, really long time. All right, what else do we have for Libra? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. <coughs> Whenever the weather gets really... Um, humid outside. My asthma will act up bad. All right, so we have 26, which is instinctual instinctual bliss. Oh, I got to cover that. So YouTube doesn't. <clears throat> instinctual bliss. So I'm going to have to put that behind the bunny and make sure it doesn't show. Does it show? Let's move her over. So she's covered. Is it covered? <sighs> Pretty much. Let's move her over a bit more. There, no nudity. Okay, so this is the card of literally <clears throat> someone watching you again, Libra. We keep getting this energy of someone watching you. They're admiring. If you look at the masculine, he's watching this feminine and he's admiring her. He's um, he's taking all of her in, right? The female is, is <clears throat> undressed. And she's, she's not even noticing that he's watching her. She's playing in the leaves. She's um, just enjoying herself. There's a sort of naive innocence about this whole situation. So literally, it's like this feeling of this, whoever this person is, you know, your person, they see you as like this beautiful, innocent, childlike, naive type energy. Like they... They're literally thinking in their head, like, wow, like, this person doesn't even know how beautiful or how amazing they are because it just comes natural to you, Libra. Do you understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> like, he's just drinking her in, like, all hungry with his eyes, and she, she's just swimming in joy and bliss. And that's why the, call, the card is called Instinctual Bliss, because it's just, like, being in bliss for no reason. It's just happy as a, mu a motherfucker, basically, because you can be, right? <clears throat> oh my God, I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm going to die, Libra, doing your reading. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, one second. Okay, so I was cleaning earlier, so maybe I, I inhaled too many cleaning, too much cleaning solution too. I don't know. That could have triggered my asthma. Um, <clears throat> so, all right, so we have number 16 for better or for worse. I don't think there's any nudity on here, but this is about being tied to someone's energy for better or for worse, right? Um, <clears throat> with unconditional love, we tend to love someone for better or for worse, right? You know, that's why like in marriage vows, they say for better or for worse. Do you take this person for better or for worse, because with unconditional love, <clears throat> it's easy to love someone, right, when when they're at their best, but what about when the shadows come out, or what about when, um, you know, they're not being so nice, that's where the unconditional love comes in, it's like, <clears throat> do you, are you able to be in that space of I can love you even when you're at your worst, right? Because if you want someone to love you like that, you have to love like that in turn. Now, I'm not saying to sit there and let someone treat you like absolute dog shit and like cheat on you and be the scum of the fucking earth. Um, that's not, 
you wouldn't be like that, right? Because that's just low vibrational, right? You want to love yourself unconditionally. And therefore, <clears throat> when you love yourself unconditionally, like your person has to has to love you unconditionally too, right? And, you know, someone who loves himself unconditionally is not going to put up with bullshit. So this is not a pass to let your person be a shithole, <laughs> basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, <clears throat> this is, um, it's number 16, first of all, <laughs> um, which is number seven, which is, represents like luck in your love life. And then the other card in Sinkshow Bliss is 26, which is number eight. So this is, a, is, is an eternal connection. Okay. It doesn't matter. You guys have known each other in past lives. It, I mean, it could be a twin soul, twin flame. I don't know. Number eight to me usually represents like eternal love. So, um, <clears throat> it's a love that doesn't die. So it feels very twin flamey. But yes, it's about loving um, each other for better or for worse, right? But not to give them a pass to be shady, okay? <clears throat> Let me just clear that. Let me just put that out there. Let me just put that out there. All right. Um, let's do the... Whoa. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this connection. <coughs> you know, I was watching um, another reader um, on YouTube, which I sometimes do. And she was saying that sometimes when people have asthma, it's because they carry grief in their lungs. And I was like, wow, like I never knew that. And it absolutely makes sense, though. Especially recently for me because um, <clears throat> I lost someone in my family recently and it was, it was way harder than I thought it was going to be and, you know, it, so I am struggling with a little bit of grief still. Alright, what do we have for Libra? <clears throat> so, boom, I just said that. See, I just said that. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Spirit speaks. There it is. Spirit speaks through me. I just said, like, you know, if you love yourself first, then other people have no choice but to love you as well because you're not going to put up with anything. <clears throat> Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you two together. So... Okay. These two people are in love because they both love themselves unconditionally. And then we have Cupid on the side is shooting an arrow right at both of them. Boom. Okay. And a bunch of little other cherubs up here. But you are basically manifesting your person. Okay. Because everything that you've been doing, your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations that you do right before you go to sleep, Libra, those are what are helping bringing in your soulmate, your twin soul, whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. It doesn't matter. The label is not freaking important. I'm going to try to clean up my language a little bit. <clears throat> I cuss like a sailor. But look at this. Like this is a divine union because the the there is an angel behind this feminine um, so her guardian angels are protecting her during this phase of manifestation. They're making sure she doesn't manifest a fuck face. As soon as I say, I'm going to, oh my God, as soon as I say, I'm going to clean up my language. There I go again. I cannot, I can't help it. Libra, I'm sorry. <clears throat> if I could breathe, that would be nice. Then I wouldn't, I would be less cranky. Okay. So let's keep going. <laughs> Oh my God. I can't with myself today. Okay. Can't. All right. What else do we have for Libra? <coughs> my God. I probably caught the freaking COVID again, too. I'm just kidding. I was out shopping today. This is why you shouldn't shop. You should just stay home and just be in your house for the rest of your life. <clears throat> certain relationships in your life are ending it may be painful but trust there's a bigger plan for you so if you have something right now that's ending 
it's because you're calling in your soulmates, your twin soul, your whatever, your person, right? Um, things have to end in order for other things to begin. That's just how it works. <clears throat> you have to let go of something that's not so good to receive something that's better. Okay. And this doesn't even have to be a love relationship. It could be relationships with family members that won't support you. You know, it can be anything, right? Coworkers, fuck faces in general. Every time we do a reading for you, Libra, this comes out. <clears throat> this came out in one of your short videos too that I did for you. One of your shorts, remember? Resentments or anger is blocking your heart chakra. Forgive and let these feelings go. So here it is again. Forgive and let these feelings go. Resentment or anger is blocking your heart chakra. Now, if this doesn't resonate for you, then it's not for you. You'll know if it's for you. But Spirit is telling someone, some Libra that watches me, Spirit is telling you this. So listen to Spirit because it's just going to keep coming out over and over again until you listen. Okay. <clears throat> this is for someone that's watching. I don't care. Like Spirit's not just going to blow smoke up your ass that's just not how it works so they want you to listen to 528 hertz okay go to youtube look up meditation 528 hertz something to unblock your heart chakra okay meditate for a few minutes you got this libra i'm only doing this because i love you okay i am the voice of god <laughs> one second okay let's keep going um what do we have next for libra uh let's do the power of the Oh, God, I can't remember what this deck is called. The Power of Love. Activation cards. Let's see what's being activated in that beautiful block heart chakra. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have jokes, Libra. <clears throat> I love you guys so much. All right, what do we have for Libra? Two cards, please. We have elevation. Wow. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Ooh. <clears throat> you high vibing, Libra. I told you. Remember the first two cards I pulled for you? I said something about... Um, oh God, what did I say? I can't even remember. Sometimes spirit wipes my freaking memory because... You know, the messages are not meant for me. They're meant for you guys. I have to go back sometimes and watch my own videos just so I can know what I channeled for my sign, which is Leo, right? Because <clears throat> I don't remember. Um, but I said something about elevation. I know I did, right? Um, enlightenment and elevation, right? With the hanged man, something like that, right? So... You're making the conscious decision to raise your vibration so that you can be, I can't talk with the Mercury shadow, I swear, <clears throat> so that you can be um, at the vibration of love. That is the highest vibration you can be at, right? Over anything. And you also have priorities. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all your situations. Wow. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all of your situations. So not just like in your love life, but <clears throat> you've learned the ability to manifest love in every single situation in your life. That's an incredible thing to do, right? To just be able to come upon feelings of love in your everyday situations in life, period. That's a beautiful vibration to be at, Libra. I love that for you, and I think it's so beautiful. I love it. <coughs> it's so good. <clears throat> All right. So keep on working on that beautiful vibration of love. Because it's bringing you into your greatest self. 
It's elevating you to another level of consciousness in your journey. It's fucking beautiful. All right, what else do we have for me, bro, please? <clears throat> wow. I think Cancer got this too in their reading. I love this energy for all the signs. Physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. So whether you are physically able to touch your person or whether, um, you know, you guys are only touching right now in the astral plane, your person is longing to be touched by you or they're longing to touch you, right? There's a need that comes with this card to physically touch it's like there's this extreme yearning that's coming from this card. Like your person, I can feel their like intense desire to want to caress you and touch you and feel like your skin. It's beautiful. So it's number, let's see, 47. Wow, this is a twin flame connection. Because if you add 7 and 4, it's the number 11. And that's my twin flame number. I wasn't sure if it was going to come out because it, the, the connection... <clears throat> I don't like to just come out and say straight out like this is a twin flame connection. Especially if it's a general love reading. But there are certain cards that um, if the numbers correspond with the, the card, that's a twin flame and I will say, I will literally be like, yes, this is the Twin Flame connection. Only if those certain cards come out. And this is one of the Twin Flame cards. And it's also one of the Twin Flame numbers. 11 is a Twin Flame number. It's incredible energy. There, your person is, there's a, a romantic vibe coming off of this card. Wow, we also have practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. We have number 15. You add five and one at six. So there it is too. There's confirmation of your spiritual connection with this person. Six is the number of a spiritual connection. Spiritual twin flame connection. The feathers represent being protected by angels. So you guys are divinely protected by the angels. Um... To make sure that you your union is going as planned, right? That everything is going as planned. Um, the butterflies represents the butterfly represents the evolution of both of your souls. Okay, so it's just about doing the work and continuing to do the work until you come into union. That's all it is. The light right here represents enlightenment for both of you. Oh my God, this is fucking incredible energy. It's so lovely. I can't even. And the bluebird here, or this bird, it's it, it looks like a bluebird, but it represents like um, contentment and happiness. <coughs> you ever heard that song that goes, and I'm going <clears> to <throat> totally not be able to sing because I my asthma, but that song is like, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder, right? It's like complete and utter like joy and bliss and happiness. <clears throat> but first you have to practice compassion for yourself and also for your twin. You have to see things from a different perspective. If, if, if it looks like right now on the outside that they're hurting you, that's not, that's not what's going on. If there's any type of separation, right? Everything is done so that you guys can heal each other and trigger shadows in each other in order to heal so that you can get into union. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, if this person is doing like low vibrational stuff, like, um, you know, cheating or obviously abusing you, that's not your twin flame. I'm going to say it right there. <laughs> That's not a twin flame. 
Your twin flame will never be violent to you because if they're being violent to you, they're violent to themselves. And a twin flame could never hurt themselves like that because they are you and you are them. So, <clears throat> just throwing that out there because a lot of people think a twin flame connection is like something stupid and toxic and it's not. It's a divinely guided connection that is connected and and um, brought together by the divine, whatever divine force you believe in, <clears throat> right? It's connection that's um, brought together by divine love. What else do we have for Libra, please? Two cards. Wow, we have the fool. Look at that. Zero point. Libra, beautiful. Trust, trust, trust. Do you have trust in God and the universe and whatever deities you believe in, whatever divine source of love you believe in, okay? <clears throat> Look at that. Do you have the trust and the faith to keep going, knowing that it's leading to union, right? This is zero point. It's starting from a fresh slate. At zero point, there's nothing there. And you can create and fill that zero point void vortex with whatever you want, Libra. Whatever you want. What are you going to fill it with, Libra? All the possibilities are endless, isn't it? Look at that beautiful energy. Look how she's just, she has her arms wide open. It's like that pink song, right? Trust fall. It's a trust fall, baby. Close your eyes and leave it all behind. Look at that. Oh my God, it's a trust fall. <clears throat> Allowing the universe to lead you until you fall straight into the arms of your beloved Number six, again, spiritual union. Oh my God, you can't make it up. I know what I'm talking about. Not to toot my own horn, but toot, toot, toot. Fuckery. Look at this. I cannot. Okay, so six is the number of spiritual connection. Again, we have it again. Simply love. It's the six of cups. It's that energy again of you let go of the things that no longer served you in the past. You're moving forward. You're entering this beautiful time of peace and serenity. And because you're finding your peace and serenity, I think your union is closer than you think it is. This is also the card of children. So if you or your partner have children, it's going to be a seamless blending of families. It's fucking beautiful. Oh my God. I cannot. Okay. So... <clears throat> Uh, which is a good thing because I'm about to probably die. <laughs> All right, let's do, um, we only have three more decks left, so we're flying. We're doing good. We're making good time. This is the love, oh God, what deck is this? The love deck, I think it's called. I don't know. All right, but this has all sorts of cards in here. Some of them are shadow cards, so beware, Libra. If you have shadows, they going to come up, okay? You can't hide from spirits. <laughs> so, oh, bitch. Hold on. <clears throat> Watch this fucking video. is going to get flagged. And then it's going to be all sorts of stupid. Uh, I hope not. Okay. I'm going to try to clean up my language. Language. Lang -lang 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 -lang. Lang -lang -lang. Don't ask me what the fuck that was, Libra. Because I don't know deception there's a problem okay so we have number 68 deception okay so add it up it's 14 and then four and one is five so this is the number of change this is the energy of changing so where there was an energy of you deceiving yourself or your person deceiving you in some way by not being honest about how they feel, this energy is done. Okay? <clears throat> I thought it was going to come out as a shadow, but no. Spirit said that's it's not a shadow. 
it's actually a healing card. There's no more energy of trying to manipulate the situation to make someone love you. It's like now, maybe in the past, that was something that, you know, we, we, we tried to, to do to make the 3D, right? In the past relationships, that's what we used to do. We try to manip manipulate people into liking us. We put our best foot forward, whatever. But we're, now we're authentic. We don't give a fuck. We're like, uh, this is me. Like me, leave me, bleh, whatever. We don't care, right? So there's that. You know, we don't need we don't need to fool anyone into loving us so that we can lock them down. We just show them our butt straight up. And if they like it, they like it. If they don't, then no well, right? But <clears throat> we had to learn that lesson, right, Libra? We all had to learn that lesson. See, I told you. Trice. Three and one. Four. Four is the number of being guided by the angels. I'm going to say it again because it keeps coming out. This is the number of being divinely guided by the angels. It's a spiritual connection. It's a twin flame connection. All right. Number four, luck. It's triced. You are going to be meeting with your person really soon. You know what a triced is? If you don't know what a triced is, look it up. T-R-Y-S-T. It's a meeting between two lovers. You cannot make it up. You guys are done lying to each other and lying to yourselves about how you feel. The truth is coming out and there's the freaking sun in the damn background to remind you again of the first card you got, which was the happiest card in the deck. The question is, are you going to let this unfold? Are you going to follow the hearts, the little heart stones to love? Are you going to heal your heart chakra, the blocked heart chakra, <clears throat> so you can experience this trist? This is a meeting between two lovers that is divinely guided by the angels. All right, we're going to go ahead and get some character traits of your person. And then we're going to um, end with um, a message from your person. The secrets of their heart that they're too much of a biatch to tell you. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, I'm in a crappy mood. You're in a better mood when you can breathe, trust me. Okay. So this will resonate with some people. It's not going to resonate with all of you. So I'm going to give you an example. So like if, you know, 80% of the people that watch me, their person has blonde hair. Look what's going to show up. Duh, blonde hair, probably. Now, for the other percent that, you know, might not watch me or you don't watch me as often as the other Libras do, then, you know, your person's hair color might not show up. So don't freak out. Don't go, oh, I, I know this person's my twin flame, but this hair color didn't show up. It doesn't matter. Or, or their sign or whatever, whatever this deck shows you. These are character traits. Because it, it takes the energy of the highest amount of the Libras that watch me. Does that make sense? So if 80% of the Libras that watch me, their person has dark hair, it's going to go with that number because it's the highest amount of, you know, percentage of people that has dark hair. Get it? Their person has darker hair. That doesn't mean that this is a definite trait of your person. Does that make sense? So it'll resonate with the highest amount. Okay. There. Now that that spiel's done, we're going for it. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's get three character traits of Libra's person, please. We have tall. Very nice. Male or female, your person is tall. Ooh, everybody likes a tall man. And you know what? Most men like a tall chick, too. Why not? 615 and mustelettos, like Beyonce says, right? Animals. So they're an animal lover, right? Or they act like an animal. Take it how it resonates. Maybe they're an animal in the bedroom. Woo woo. Who knows? I don't know. They might have animals. They might be an animal lover. They act like an animal. Oof. And we have faithful. Oh my God. Yes. 
Yes. Yes, queen, king. Oh my God, I can't. Oh, this energy is so good. Faithful? Are you kidding? Who doesn't want their lover to be faithful? Shut the frick up. For real. I'm going to take all of that. It's a good day to be a Libra. Can I be a Libra today? I don't want to be a Leo anywhere. I want to be a Libra. <laughs> <coughs> I do have Libra in my chart somewhere, but I don't know where the hell it is. I don't. So I guess it doesn't even matter. I'm upset that I'm not a Libra today. Okay, so <laughs> let's end with the final message from your person. Libra, this reading freaking rocked. If you don't thumb up that freaking video, then I don't know what's wrong with you because your guys' energy is just it's belligerent it's beautiful i just i can't even uh i don't know if i want to be a libra or fuck a libra today it's ridiculous i don't know let me just keep on going <laughs> all right libra three cards from their person boom i'm not even gonna look at them i'm gonna be surprised too i'm just gonna grab three random cards now, this is my deck. So, this is my Lemurian love deck. First one. You are so beautiful. Damn right you are, Libra. Don't forget it. Claim it. You are so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Your person is obsessed with you. They're obsessed. Look. They're like, <laughs> oh my God. They're both staring at each other. Look at the connection between them. Oh my God. Libra. Look at that. The heat and the passion and the fire. Oh, my God. I don't know why they haven't jumped your bones already. What the hell is wrong with this person? <laughs> what is going on, Libra? <clears throat> okay. Will you ever claim me? Didn't I just say that? I'm done. Reading's over. <laughs> I can't even breathe. And I just want to laugh so hard. This is so stupid. Isn't it, Libra? I just said, I'm surprised this person hasn't jumped your bones yet already. They want you so bad. And I said, what is going on? And then, boom, will you ever claim me? I don't know if this is you. No, okay, this is not you. This is your person. This is stupid. I said this is a message from your person, right? So your person is literally saying, will you ever claim me? Which is dumb because it feels like they're the ones that are holding back, right? But they're asking you, will you ever claim me? I don't know. It's like, maybe they're expecting you to claim them. But all in all, you guys are one soul. So if you say, I claim you, then they have no choice but to claim you, right? This is so dumb. It's like, you guys both obviously want each other. Why does it say, will you ever claim me? Are you guys are both in this energy of like, why is nobody taking the first step? I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. So <clears throat> during this twin soul connection, they know that there is things and triggers that, you know, in the 3D, it, it seems like, you know, they did intentional things to hurt you and they never did. They didn't intentionally mean to hurt you. Um, most of the time when we feel hurt, it's because there's something that needs to be healed right within us. I know there's been plenty of times when I really thought that someone that I was desperately in love with was hurting me. And then I went back and realized they were really, really helping me. They actually really, truly loved me. And they signed up on the other side to help me and to take on this persona of a villain type, you know, um, role in my story in order to help me heal those triggers of the things that I needed healing the most, like, you know, my abandonment issues, um, my feelings of, you know, being unwanted and things like that, right? And, you know, we don't learn that we have those triggers until someone triggers them in us. And then we go, oh, that's why this cycle is repeating, right? And then we have to heal it within ourselves. It's our responsibility to take charge of our healing. <clears throat> but... It's a beautiful energy when someone says, I'm sorry, I know I hurt you, right? Whether they did it intentionally or not, right? For them to take responsibility, even, even in a healing journey, to say, I know that um, it seems like in the 3D I'm hurting you because 
I'm doing it to help you heal and it's because I love you. And not in a low vibrational way. Like they're not beating you up. They're not cheating on you. They're not, you know, giving attention to other females. That's not what this is, right? No, I'm not saying if you have a wound of jealousy that that might not be part of your healing journey. It could be, right? Everyone's healing journey is different, right? But they're saying what it looks like on the 3D is not what it what it what it is in the 5D. Right? They're asking for forgiveness. They're saying, "I'm sorry. I know I hurt you." And I love you. Okay, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Oh, that was deep. Um, <clears throat> maybe that'll help you heal your heart chakra. Because I feel so much love. Um, I almost feel like I want to cry. Like this person has so much pure love for you. It's just, it's beautiful. And there's the three dolphins, which is the, you know, represents the three, the trinity. It's, it's gorgeous energy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, this reading Libra. If you want to book a reading with me, then click on the description box below my video and click on the appointment fix Goldie link and you got me. All right. Um, I love you Libra.